I, I love design. It's, I've been very lucky to, to have that kind of a profession. Looking back, I, I think cross-cultural uh, is, uh, is in my blood. I was very much uh, a New York a junkie, much involved with New York. That was the New York of Andy Warhol and, and of, at the same time, Marcel Duchamp. Uh, I'd spent a few years in Hong Kong that I came up with this idea of cross-culturalism. I, I don't like the expression of a fusion or, or hybridization or anything, I, but I believe in, in communication between cultures. But it's sort of more, uh, more bureaucratic in the sense that you have people in charge of this and that. I think that um, th there's a, a straightforwardness that uh, tends to get lost a little bit. Uh, I, I don't know, I find a lot of uh, sameness. I, I hope I'm not sounding like an old fart, you know, complaining about things, but I, I genuinely feel that there's a bit of, of distance. Here's the product, here's what it costs, it's very good, buy it, you know, thank you. Not seduction, you know, which, which good advertising should do. If it ain't broke, if it's not broken, don't repair it, don't fix it. It worked fine. So why, why change it? Is, is it old fashioned? No, it's dignified. Um, is it unworkable? Uh, obviously not. This is, is one of the things I did. As it says here, a, a basic design standards guide that says uh, unacceptable. Unfortunately, this is uh, close to what they're doing now. I don't think it looks very good with the sans serif typography. You could have maybe had a more uh, elegant uh, version of, say, Helvetica, if it was uh, the light version, which has a certain elegance. It's one of those great mysteries that uh, I, I wish somebody would help me with. Hong Kong has, its, uh, has a distinct culture. I don't think it's changed hugely. Obviously, there are big buildings, uh, new buildings, resettlement estates, but the Cantonese spirit, and maybe more particularly the, the Hong Kong spirit, is still very much there. It's sort of can do, uh, you know, not uh, making a lot of fuss about things, uh, taking care of stuff. In particular, I think the uh, the food culture hasn't changed in the sense that it's still important to Hong Kong. I don't think it's, it's under threat. It, it just maybe would help if it was respected more. Treated for what it is, which is a, a genuine culture, uh, not just uh, you know, a provincial difference. Yesterday was the day that these uh, um, they're dismissively called protesters, uh, were uh, sent to jail, which I think uh, is a pretty uh, heavy punishment for speaking freely and asking for um, uh, the right to vote for the leader of your community. Uh, that doesn't seem to me to be dangerous. Uh, I, I have to say immediately, there is not a shred of a possibility of Hong Kong being independent, and nobody in their right mind would would, would say that. So I, I think there's there's too much worry that's wrongly placed about Hong Kong. Uh, I, I I don't think it's rebellious, but it, it, to me it doesn't seem such a bad idea for people to elect their representatives, their leaders.